Hey what's happening guys, it's that time of the year with the iPhone 7 goes on sale. My name is Bharat Nagpal, you're watching iGyan, let's review the iPhone 7. While it costs only $649 in the US, the iPhone 7 has been launched at a starting price of 60,000 rupees in India for the 32GB variant. Now should you consider buying the iPhone 7 if you already own an iPhone 6s or you already own a flagship Android device? The Apple iPhone 7 finally comes with water resistance and if you've lost a phone to water damage you'll find this to be a great feature. The iPhone 7 does miss out on the 3.5mm headphone jack and it has been a cause of worry for a lot of people. You do get improvements on audio, the display is still the 1335 by 750 pixel display but that doesn't seem to bother anyone. The jet black color of the iPhone 7 seems to be extremely popular and is sold out all over the world but is also prone to scratching, fingerprints and gets damaged very easily. Apple has even mentioned this on their website. The matte black color which we personally like is extremely stealthy, does not attract fingerprints but is extremely slippery and we would recommend that you use it in a case, in case you do decide to buy this color. Now the display is a 750 pixel display that means that it's not even a full HD display. However thanks to the resolution versus size ratio the display looks pretty good. Apple has improved the brightness of the display and the new IPS LCD does support a wide color gamut for a cinema style color scheme that means you get to see far more accurate colors than you've ever seen before. Viewing angles are also excellent and visibility indoors and outdoors is supported by the 25% improvement in display brightness. As far as performance is concerned you'll find running through day to day tasks without any problems. Whether you're switching between applications, recording video or gaming you'll find that the iPhone 7 just simply performs. On benchmarks we got scores upwards of 174,000 on Antutu really high scores crossing 5000 on multi-core benchmarks on Geekbench. This puts the iPhone 7 right there on top in terms of benchmarks. The A10 Fusion chipset now has a big little architecture so you get two high performance scores and two low performance scores that come on when needed, also improving majorly on battery life. On an average when the iPhone 6s would require a charge by 3 p.m. in the day, if the day started at 8 a.m., the iPhone 7 continues to go on till the end of the day with 20% battery remaining. This means that the larger battery size, thanks to the removal of the 3.5mm headphone jack, the improvements on iOS 10 and the new A10 Fusion chipset add a lot more battery juice to the iPhone 7 than ever before. Now the camera is a big highlight of the iPhone 7. You get a far larger lens with the f1.8 aperture. The 12 megapixel camera remains the same but you do get optical image stabilization this time around that means that your images will be far more sharper and videos will come out smooth and steady. The wide color gamut allows you to capture a lot more color in your image and then view them on the wide color display. These capabilities combined put the iPhone 7 on the highest rating on the DxO Mark which is basically a standard for rating cameras. This was recently removed by the Google Pixel but the Google Pixel is not yet available in the market. The removal of the headphone jack is a big cause for worry for a lot of people especially those who have a whole set of analog headphones. You do get an adapter inside the box and if you do lose it, it costs 9 dollars or about 600 rupees in India to buy this headphone adapter. While it's not very convenient to have this adapter on your phone, it works really well. The removal of the headphone jack may not cause worry for a lot of people. The improved battery life also means that you won't need to charge your phone again and again, which was the cause of concern if you were using the headphone adapter. In case you do want to charge your phone while using the headphones, there seem to be some third party solutions available for this. Phone network strength seems to be improved quite a lot and we see far less network drops and call drops on the iPhone 7. Call quality is also far more improved, the speaker is much louder and the microphone picks up your audio really well. Noise cancellation has been top notch on the iPhone and the iPhone 7 is no different. If you're online all the time and watch videos a lot, you'll find that the stereo speakers come in really handy. They're extremely loud and in case you do end up muffling the bottom speaker, the forward firing speaker continues to give you good quality sound. Now this also helps in watching regular movies or playing games and the overall experience has improved quite a lot. Now we started this video off by trying to understand whether or not this phone is for you. Now if you're an iPhone 6s user, the iPhone 7 adds a whole new feature set to the iPhone's capabilities and water resistance is one of the major ones. You also get major improvements in terms of performance, battery life, camera and overall network strength. That means that you get a major overall to the iPhone. The new colors are also great. At the end of the day, the iPhone 7 is a great no-nonsense phone for those looking for a device that will last them many years. And the question comes down to price. If you have the money, you should definitely buy the iPhone 7. If you have further questions or queries, you can visit our full review of the iPhone 7. The link to that is in the description below. You can also see image samples and video recordings from the iPhone 7 on iGAN.in. 
You can also catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. And if you like this video, guys, give it a big thumbs up. And make sure you hit the subscribe button for more videos. Our iPhone 7 Plus review will be out shortly, so you can stay tuned for that. My name is Bharat Nagpal. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm-hmm.